Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald City Vegan Eats, where in today's episode, we're going to go over the Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas, the Windjammer Cafe, their buffet options. So we recently took a seven-day cruise to the Mexican Riviera, and we visited their buffet quite a bit. And so I wanted to give you an idea of our thoughts, our experience, um, give you an idea of the type of options that you can expect if you're on Navigator of the Seas. Maybe very similar if you're on another Royal Caribbean ship. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. So because I don't have the best memory, I'm just going to go ahead and borrow my girlfriend's notebook to take some notes here. Oh wait, she's got some notes written down. Life insurance... Um, unexpected disappear. It, I, I think I'll have to have a chat with her later. Okay, in the meantime, enough of that. So, um, some initial thoughts about the Windjammer Cafe. Um, first, there was a variety of options, typical of what you would expect from a buffet. Um, I probably mentioned in other videos, um, you're not going to go hungry. Now, everybody's different. If you're more particular in what you eat, it's going to be a little bit harder. I personally think there's something for everyone. Um, I don't think it's any, by any stretch, the best buffet any vegan's ever going to go to. Um, I think the way that my girlfriend and I approached it, based on the research that we did before going on the Royal Caribbean, um, was that we did not anticipate there would be a really big variety we figured we'd be happy with whatever they had because the point for us was going on the sailing not the food per se so the food whatever we had we told ourselves would be a bonus plus we were going to eat in other ports of call and whatever i'll have other videos on that so for us the food kind of took a back seat plus if we didn't quite have as much food to eat we could both stand to lose a pound or two so there's that. Um, the buffet, um, the Windjammer, it seemed to have some staples that you can rely on every day. Um, some of the staples, oatmeal, um, always ask how the oatmeal is prepared. It should be vegan, but it's not. So let me, let me segue here. One of the biggest caveats we had with the Windjammer buffet is not so much the lack of vegan options, but the lack of labeling so there was probably a lot of vegan stuff maybe not the most exciting but a lot um but it wasn't labeled so i'll give you an example um one of the options they had was on one of the days sauteed spinach sauteed spinach that can be sauteed in lard that can be sauteed in butter um it could be sauteed in oil we don't know right so it's something that very likely could be vegan um, but you don't know because they don't label it. And what's weird is that they do label some of the items vegan, which we appreciate. But, so it's weird, and I brought this up in the, um, Navigator, uh, excuse me, the Royal Caribbean Vegans Facebook group. And somebody had mentioned that they talked to the wait staff one time, and the wait staff said that the reason they don't label things is because of possible cross-contamination. If something's labeled vegan and somebody else puts a fork in it, then somebody else who's vegan comes in after that. Um, they don't know if it's, you know, con been contaminated. Um, I call bullshit uh -oh. on that. Um, I say that label it, and then on the label you can put, you know, possibility of cross-contamination. Um, plus, in that same group, somebody else was on a different ship, the Royal Caribbean Anthem of the Seas, and they said that Anthem was very good about labeling, that it's a ship-by-ship -ship thing. So, I don't know. What I do know is it's really frustrating. So here's the thing. The wait staff are, they're exemplary. They're fantastic. The goal is to exceed your expectation by providing 10 out of 10 service and food. If there's anything we can do, please reach out to us. If you have a question about any item, you can ask them. They will find out for you. And a lot of the items, if they're not vegan, um, they may be able 
to make them vegan for you. So they're very friendly, they're very helpful. So that is great. The thing is sometimes you just, you wanna to go to the buffet and you want to eat, right? You don't wanna to have to play 20 questions with every damn thing that you put on your plate. So it is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it is what it is, but it's definitely, if they had just found some way to label the items as vegan or V or VE or whatever, this way at least we can know what we can eat, what we can eat. And if we had to ask questions, the questions would be much more limited. That would have been preferable. Um, so it is what it is, but I digress. So again, back to the staples. Staples, oatmeal, hash browns, again, think we're vegan, um, double check because they can always change it from time to time. Um, hash browns, fruit, veggies. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you a picture here of the fruit platter. So, well, let me just kind of go over my notes first. Fruit, veggies, bread, peanut butter, um, potato wedges. They always had potato wedges, thick potato wedges. They were yummy. French fries, the thin French fries. Um, they always didn't always have a dessert, but sometimes they had a dessert, vegan, a dessert that was labeled vegan. When they did, that was great. Um, usually the dessert was the same dessert that was offered for dessert in the main dining room that same evening. So there was that, um, but it was still good. Here's another thing with the labeling is a lot of time, a few times, we saw the same dessert from the main dining room that was in the buffet. So we knew it was vegan because we had it in the main dining room earlier, but it wasn't labeled vegan. So again, more of that kind of frustrating, just label the damn things. Um, they, so again, they had dessert some days. There was always salad. The salad wasn't anything grandois, grandoy, whatever. Um, it wasn't anything grand. You know, basically lettuce, tomatoes, um, pickles, cucumbers. Um, even the dressing was a pain in the butt because the only vegan dressing they have is oil and vinegar. And they, yeah, they have it on the side. So I guess it's kind of good because you can put as much or as little as you want. Um, but it's frustrating. It's really easy to have vegan dressings. So the only one to have is oil and vinegar. It's a pain. And again, the salad that you make, it's not going to be anything spectacular. It'll be the same salad you make every day. But the options are there. Plus they have like beans. They have like three different kind of beans. Um, like kidney beans. Um, some other stuff. I forget exactly. So the options were there. Um, let's see. Now, as far as, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it's going to depend what they have will be, will vary depending on whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So, for example, some of the staples that I mentioned, um, you know, hash browns, they're going to have that for breakfast. They're not probably going to have that for lunch. They might. Don't think they'll have that for dinner. Um, the beans, the salad. So salad, I think they had all the time anyway. So the point is it's going to vary. Our experience may not necessarily equal your experience, um, especially if you're not on the same ship. Even if you're on Navigator of the Seas, your experience may differ, but especially if you're on a different ship. So bear that in mind. Um, also, they had fruit. They oh, Excuse me, they had bread. They always had bread, but while they had a variety of bread, the only bread that was vegan was the sourdough bread. Sourdough bread was fine. It was tasty. Um, just bear in mind that is the only vegan option. Okay. Um, dessert, again, some days, not all. One of our disappointments with the buffet is that it closes at 9. I had never been on a cruise ship before. So my understanding of cruise ships is that the buffets are usually open a little bit later, 10 or 11. And even when they close for food, they're still open. Um, you know, they still have coffee and whatever. You can go down there or go to wherever the buffet is and get the coffee. Um, this wasn't the case. So the fact that they closed so early, um, that was really surprising and disappointing. We got over it. It wasn't a huge deal. But um, yeah, it's just it was kind of weird. I would say kind of weird. Your mileage may vary. All right. Um, so again, service staff, super friendly. If you're not sure if something is vegan, go ahead and ask. They'll be happy to assist. If an item is not vegan, again, they'll be happy to make a vegan version for you if feasible. So an example of this. Um, on day two or three, doesn't matter, um, my girlfriend had asked about pancakes. 
and they went ahead and they made her vegan pancakes. I do not have a picture of it, sorry about that. That was not intentional. But while it was not intentional, I will say you're not missing anything. They looked kind of meh. <laughs> um, and they didn't taste all that great. I mean, they were fine, just fine. They weren't good, they weren't fluffy, nothing like that. Um, they were serviceable, I would say. Um, it wasn't good enough that we decided to get pancakes the vegan, that we asked. It wasn't good enough for us to to warrant us asking them for vegan pancakes any other day of the week. So there's that. So the fact that they made it and they had it, that was great. Um, I will say, however, one so one kind of caveat. We were part of the something called the key program. And one of the things of the key program is disembarkation day. Um, you're supposed to get a breakfast. And the night before, when we left the main dining room, we had let them know that, hey, we're vegan, so, you know, you can make something vegan for breakfast. And the next day, they had no idea who we were. Uh, I mean, they, they didn't have any recollection of somebody asking for vegan stuff. So, you know, what we had was fine, hash browns and this and that, but they didn't go above and beyond making anything special beyond that, even though we did go ahead and give them an alert the night before. So not really too much to do with the buffet, but just kind of throwing that out there. It was kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, so the pancakes, edible, not even, I wouldn't even call them good, just edible, just barely. So, but they're an option. You can get that if you want to. They also made a tofu scramble for us for breakfast on one of the days. Um, I'll show the picture up here and I'll show it again later on. Um, it, it tasted fine, but it was kind of weird and funky in a couple of ways. It had a little bit of moisture to it because they, it doesn't seem like they pressed the tofu. Also, they didn't use any color, no turmeric to kind of give it a yellow color. Um, I did a separate video on that, and I'll either add it in this video here if I can figure out how because I'm new to all this. And otherwise, I'll just have it posted and I'll put a link in the description section below. Um, so at least they were able to make the pancakes for us. They were able to make the tofu scramble for us. So while neither one was good, we appreciated the effort. So there's that. Um, a few days later, vegan veggie burgers. So when you go to the burger section where they have the burgers, they do have a sign that says we have veggie burgers as well. And the first time, um, my girlfriend had asked whoever was behind the counter if they can make them, if they can make the veggie burgers as vegan. And she was told, no, that it includes cheese the way it's made, blah, blah, blah. So we had mentioned this to somebody in one of the Facebook groups and they said, no, check with the head chef. So we did that. We checked with the head chef and he said, no, we can totally make you some vegan burgers and, and whatnot. And I'll post a picture up here. And I'll post them later on as well. They were actually pretty good. I mean, they weren't great, but they were good. I, I would say they were, yeah, you know, they were good. If only we had a vegan bun to put them in. So uh, my girlfriend, what she did was she put it in a sourdough, um, sourdough bun. Again, I'll put the picture here and I'll go through it later as well. So it was definitely, it, it was good. And, you know, when you add the lettuce and tomato and pickles and all that kind of stuff, it definitely adds another dimension to it. So it was a little bit squishy from what I remember. Um, so it was tasty, a little bit squishy, but not horrible. Um, but hey, I mean, it looked good. It was aesthetically pleasing. And we really appreciated that they were able to make vegan burgers for us. So A plus for that, you know. So again, you got the pancakes, you got the tofu scramble, you got the vegan burgers, all these things they went above and beyond. So it's there if you want it. It might not be the best thing. You might not want it a second time, but it is there. All right. Um, bah, 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 bah. So labeling, again, the labeling was inconsistent and that was frustrating. Some days, some things were labeled vegan, some things were not labeled vegan. What can you do? Um, but that was definitely frustrating. Hopefully they'll improve upon that. One can hope. Um, and that was about it. Again, tired of playing 20 questions and really odd to have something, let's say, for dessert in the main dining room and then go to the buffet later just to kind of see what they had and see the exact same dessert, know that it's vegan, but that it's not labeled vegan. Kind of a head scratcher, right? Okay. So going to the video. 
the video right now we're just kind of walking through the buffet um, I just wanted to give you an overview of what the buffet looks like how vast it is and whatnot um, so it's really really big area the Windjammer cafe all this stuff I'm gonna stop it for a second all of this stuff is not labeled vegan a lot of the stuff that we're walking past is possibly vegan but everything that we're walking past at high speed right now none of it is labeled vegan so walking walking still nothing labeled vegan and we're getting closer we're getting closer and here we go now finally we come across our first vegan options we've got the vegan roasted pumpkin and the vegan cauliflower um, both of those were labeled vegan so the roasted pumpkin was actually really good i enjoyed it um yeah probably the best pumpkin i've ever had to be honest there was just something about it. it was really good the vegan cauliflower um it it looked like it was steamed steamed maybe um i did not try the vegan cauliflower there was nothing there was nothing that made me feel like i needed to put that on my plate i'm sorry cauliflower no disrespect to you um but yeah but at least they had it at least it was labeled vegan so we found those two items labeled vegan I'm in shock, and then there we go. Ooh, the slow mo, the vegan food. Check it out. And now we're walking through the buffet again, and again, no more food that's labeled vegan. So, basically, walking through all the buffet and two things that were labeled vegan. So, kind of frustrating. Okay, so here we have these were some of the staples that were here uh, that they had in the buffet pretty much every day. So you've got your lettuce, you've got your cucumber, you've got your tomato, you've got your red onions, you've got your pickles, you've got your mayo. Sadness. Not, if it was vegan mayo, it would not be sad. It would be happy. But it's not vegan mayo, so it's sadness. Um, you've got your mustard. So condiments whatever build up a burger make yourself a salad do whatever you want it's you know whatever within reason don't don't be weird about it okay all right and moving forward okay here these were other options they had watermelon pineapple cantaloupe raisins brown sugar and here they had it in chunks in other sections they had it and like big pieces so again they usually pretty they usually had that not only every day, but I think they had that every meal, lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I wouldn't swear by it, but it was readily available. So there's that. All right, we go a little bit further. Peanut butter. So if you get um, get your sourdough bread, you want to put some peanut butter. I don't remember actually if they had bagels and if they had bagels, if they were vegan. Actually, I'm not even sure about that. So that might be interesting but anyway so we've got peanut butter it looks like jelly over to the left of the peanut butter so there you go all right let's go forward all right here this was an interesting one this was uh, avocado toast the avocado toast um it, it appeared in different fashions on different days so it's gone to sourdough bread and you can kind of see you've got the avocado and you've got tomatoes this particular day it was not vegan because it looks like they have cheese on it um, the first day that we were there, it did not have the cheese. Um, another day that, and you can, uh, yeah, and you can even see in the description, avocado toast with burrata, which is cheese and cher cherry tomatoes. Um, there were other days where it did not have that. There were other days where it had, I think, salami. So if you want avocado toast and it's not vegan, just ask them. They can make it for you. Um, so, but it was really yummy. It was tasty. Okay, let's see, do, 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 okay, here's the fried potatoes, so they had fried potatoes like this, they had wedges, again, they had this pretty much all the time, they had it, I would say breakfast, lunch, and dinner, tasty, it was good, it was hearty, it helped fill you up. Alright, here's another picture of the roasted pumpkins, a little bit more close up. And here's another picture of the cauliflower, A. Hey, it's cauliflower. It don't look like there's a lot going on there. It's cauliflower. You know, take it, mash it up, um, put some butter in it. Oh, that's right. They don't have any vegan butter. Um, mash it up, put some salt and pepper, make a poor man's mashed potatoes. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's see what we got here next. All right, next, the meatloaf. The meatloaf was really interesting. So, I was really happy. This was like day two or three, I think, day two. And they had... Not only an item labeled vegan, but an item labeled vegan that was hearty. It was really good. 
Um, so on the bottom left, you can see in the pan how they had it. And the bottom right is it was on my plate where I had a whole bunch of other stuff. So there's a parasitic kidney bean attacking my meatloaf. Hey, whatever. Um, but it was really good. Um, it didn't taste like what I remember meatloaf to taste like. It, it did not taste like what I remember meatloaf tasted like. It, re, it tasted more like a, a, lent, <coughs> a lentil loaf. Um, but it was good. It was really tasty. And lentil loaf is not a bad thing. Um, just bear in mind it had more of a lentil loaf taste than a meatloaf. But it was really good. Really hearty. We really enjoyed it. And I was glad they had a hearty vegan option available. I think that was um, that was definitely during the lunch. I don't remember day two or three, but that was that was awesome. I was very happy for that All right, let's see what else we got here lentil chili. Uh, I remember it being good I don't remember too much more about it than that. You can see it has some good texture um, The color color looks okay. If you don't like the color don't fret too much It could be my camera more so than the color of the meal um, But yeah, it was good. It was definitely worth eating Let's see what we got next here. Pearled rice pilaf with leeks and parsley. Um, I personally found this to be a little bit on the bland side. I will mention that I have chronic cyanitis, so it's hard for me to pick up flavors that are subtle. Um, I need really strong, bold flavors. So your mileage may vary. You may taste this and be like, oh my God, this is the best pearled rice pilaf with leeks and parsley that I've ever put in my mouth or the only it can go either way but so for me it was bland um but you, again your mileage may vary and you may like that so it was vegan it was labeled vegan and I'm really glad they had it as an option how about that all right let's see Napa cabbage with orange vinaig vinaigrette this was funny it was sad um I kind of want to cry um, I tried this because I love Napa cabbage. I mean, I used to love Napa cabbage. Um, I love Napa cabbage. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on with the orange vinaigrette. Um, I didn't taste any orange. I, it, you can kind of see the cabbage tasted kind of how it looks in the picture. Um, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, they, they took the cabbage and they boiled it for maybe a good, I mean, boiled it on high for like a good five, ten minutes. And then they looked at it, got a slotted spoon, picked it up, all the water drained off the cabbage. And they were like, yeah, another ten minutes. And that was the dish. I, what the actual F was that? Um, so I was not a fan. You may be. Your mileage may vary. Um, again, it's labeled vegan. Yay. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, let's see, peanut butter again, avocado toast again, did I rewind somehow? Yes, I did. Okay, we'll just go through it again. Grilled zucchini. Get my pictures mis mixed up there. So grilled zucchini was another dish. It was just like a side dish they had there one evening. They might have had it other evenings that I didn't notice. Um, I did not try it. Again, another one of those things that may be vegan, may not. You look at it and you're like, well, why wouldn't it be vegan, right? Could be made with butter. I don't know, so always ask. If it turns out this is the dish for you, this is what you've been waiting the whole cruise to try. And if it's not vegan, I would think they can make that vegan for you. Um, same thing with the grilled peppers. I did not try it. Um... I see no reason to think why that wouldn't be vegan. So again, it's just frustrating that you can't rely on their labeling system. Okay, let's see. What do we got next here? Polenta fries. These were really good. Um, I don't really know what much to say about them. They were good. They were hearty. They were tasty. Um, if I remember correctly, they had these in the main dining room as well. And that was, a, that was another one of these things where they had it in the main dining room. So... We saw it later in the buffet, so we know it was vegan, but it's not freaking labeled as vegan. So, really good. It was a good option. I just wish they labeled it, but whatever. What we got next here? Golden polenta fries. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show you. So, if you kind of look back. So, these were the 
polenta fries that we had in the main dining room that same evening. Crispy baked corn polenta served with a chilled creamy hazelnut red pepper spread. All right, looks delicious. And if you kind of go back just a little bit here, and these were the polenta fries in the buffet. So they look a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing. I would say why it's not labeled, I don't know. Not it, It's not important to them, not a priority for them. Uh, pasta with artichoke, fennel, cherry tomatoes, and olives in a marinara sauce. It was really good. Um, if you're looking at the picture, you can kind of get an idea of the mouthfeel and how it tastes. I would say you're right on. That's exactly, it tastes exactly how it looks. It was cooked perfectly, good flavor, every, a lot of oomph going on. So if you like oomph in your pasta, you got it. All right. Vegetable caponata. Um, I don't know all the stuff that's in there, but it was another thing that we wanted to try. We did ask if it was vegan. They said yes, and it was yummy and delicious. Let's see, what do we got next? Tomato and basil sauce. And this was just some bow tie pasta and some, you know, some pasta sauce. And it was really good. I, I liked it. It was actually in the buffet on the first day. I noticed when I was looking at the video where we were walking fast, um, I noticed it there. But again, it's not labeled vegan, so we didn't pay it too much mind at that point. But this was a few days later. We did ask. They verified it was vegan. And again, very tasty. Um, I'm not very picky, so I want to say you won't be disappointed. I don't know that. I can't speak for you. For me, I wasn't disappointed. All right, let's see what we got next here. Peter bread. It's Peter bread. Yum. They had it pretty much, I want to say they had it there every single day, every single, at least for lunch and for dinner. I'm not sure about breakfast. Um, they did have Indian food, Indian options there all the time. Um, like they had a curried okra, which wasn't vegan. I wanted to cry. I did actually ask. <coughs> Um, they did offer, I think, to make it non-vegan for me. It just it wasn't that important. Uh, but if it was vegan, I would have tried it. Okra is one of my favorite vegetables. So, so yeah, they always had Indian dishes. But as with everything else, they were never labeled vegan for the most part. So you really didn't know what was vegan or not. Okay, moving forward. Spring onion falafel. Um, this kind of looks like a chicken cutlet. I don't know. How about you, right? It looks like a chicken cutlet. Um, what I would say, this was kind of interesting. Um, it tasted, it did not, to me, taste at all. <laughs> it, at all. It hardly tasted like a falafel. Um, tasted more like a, a cutlet, or tasted more doughy, I want to say, but not in a bad way. It tasted good, um, but I would not have bit into that and thought to myself, hmm, this is a falafel. So, yeah, the labeling is not accurate in my opinion, but the texture is good for whatever it's supposed to be. Um, the flavor is good, and you get some tomato sauce, ladle it on there or whatever. I would say good stuff. Let's see what else we got going on here. Tuscan, Tucson, Tuscan white bean soup, labeled vegan. Love it. Love it. I get so excited when I see something that's labeled vegan, as if you couldn't tell. And yeah, it was good. I thought it was a little bit on the salty side, which is interesting because I love savory. I love salty foods. But even for me, I thought this was a little bit too salty. That's just my personal preference. Um, and that doesn't mean squat because even if you see it, when you go, it's going to be cooked slightly different maybe. So whatever. But the flavor was good. It was there. It was vegan. Right on. Okay, let's see what else we got. Vegetable fritters. Um, the pictures don't do this justice. This was just like a fried fritter. <coughs> it was really good. Um, what? No. I didn't go back for seconds. Why would you ask? Um, really, really good. Just, again, fried fritter. Um, to me, tasted exactly like what I expected fried fritters to taste like. Um, I did ask to make sure they were vegan because, ha! <laughs> not labeled vegan. But it was really good. Cherry chocolate, cherry cherry tart. This was awesome. It's so rare to find a dessert that's actually labeled vegan in the buffet. So this was amazing. Um, this was akin to one of the one of the desserts that we had in the main dining room that same evening. A little bit different. They uh, they put it together a little bit differently, but it was still at heart the same dessert. Um, 
And yeah, it was really tasty. Um, I enjoyed it. So the fact that, look, it even got like a little whipped cream kind of thing. So they can make good vegan stuff if they choose to. And again, it was labeled vegan. Dessert that was labeled vegan. Oh, oh. Okay. What do we got next here? This was... Okay. Crumbly Oat and Berry Bar. So the, the Crumbly Oat and Berry Bar is what we had from the main dining room. And then that same night, they had this. So I forgot to get a picture of the label. Um, I don't I don't remember if this was labeled vegan or Stop it. I don't remember if it was labeled vegan or not in the buffet. Um, I think it wasn't, but one of those things where we knew that it was vegan because it was the same thing we had in the main dining room. So... Um, there we go stay so yeah it was really delicious it was yummy you can looks like it's kind of you know presented the same kind of way a little bit different um uh, but definitely very yummy we enjoyed it this was the tofu scramble again i'm going to do a separate video for that but this was a tofu scramble you can kind of tell by looking at it it's got some excess moisture in there there's absolutely no color in there again there was decent flavor somehow they got a decent flavor in there um they've got some i guess peppers or tomatoes or whatever um yeah they got to do better but i really appreciated the effort and let's see what do we got. These are the vegan burgers. So to me, they look appetizing. They look tasty. Um, and again, they were tasty. They were, again, a little bit soggy. <coughs> so there is that. But you load it up with all the, all the fixings. Uh, if you're from Brooklyn at all, I don't know if you ever went to uh, Roy Rogers. They used to have a fast food place called Roy Rogers. And they had the, uh, the fixings bar where you go and you have all the lettuce and tomato and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so loaded up with the fixings. I say it's good eats, but that's just me. And here's a picture of my girlfriend where she put the vegan, she put, so she put the vegan burger in the sourdough bread to kind of make a sandwich out of it. It's a good idea. Tasted good every now and again. She's got a good idea. <gasps> Reminder, edit that from the video uh in her cute little pirate shirt or whatever are you there matey anyway so yeah so just take your burger slap it inside a, a bun and you're good to go or sourdough bread see and that was it so that's pretty much all i got those are my thoughts if you have any questions for me please do let me know i'll be happy to answer them for you the best that i can i hope this was useful i hope this was helpful for you um hope it wasn't too rambling you know and hard to keep track of i know i'm all over the place ah! but anyway that was my buffet experience i hope your buffet buffet experience is at least as good if not much much better than ours um and that's not to say ours is bad i just hope yours is better thanks so much for tuning in and uh catch you in the next video ciao bye